Go now, now, go now. 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 My mom came in with news that really put things into perspective. Hey, Angela? Yeah, Mom? I don't want you to be alarmed, but Andy Odessa had a heart attack. Oh my god. It, it's gonna be okay? We think so. Me and Camille are going to head over to the hospital. Um... Except Sharon may have to stay here for the night. If that's okay with you. Honestly... I really didn't know how to respond to my mom about Sharon. <sighs> well, if she has nowhere else to go, then sure, she can come over. I just... felt a certain way about it, like... feud with Sharon is something that I really need to work on unpacking. Now, you don't have to, but I'm just saying, hey, we're like the closest people to family around besides her aunt. Are things okay between you two now, or what's the story? Things are still awkward between me and Sharon. But if she needs somewhere to spend the night, then by all means, let her come over. Are you sure it's gonna be okay? She's not my favorite person right now, but she did kinda give me that push to call you when Raya needed help, so. Okay. But for now, I couldn't just leave Sharon hanging. I had to be there for her. Just like how she was there for Rayanne last month. Probably the one commendable thing she's done recently. Angela? What is it, Danielle? You need to work out your shit with Sharon. Because I've had it. She's been talking my ear off down there nonstop since she got here. I really don't want to talk to her. Okay? Okay, well, it's driving me crazy. Do something. I never really expected Danielle to weigh in on this. Like... She's really matured over the past few months. Or has she always been like this? We never really... None of us really think that much of her, as far as being an adult. She's always just in the background. It 
kind of sucks that this is how I feel about her as my sister. Comic relief. Okay, fine. If it'll make you happy, I'll talk to Sharon. Bring her in. Thank you! Jesus H. Christ, the drama in this house. So, of course, Danielle brings Sharon up to my room. She hasn't been here in what seems like a lifetime. Hey, Angela. Hey. Where should I sit? The frog. So? How are you? It felt weird having her sit on my froggy. Although she always used to sit on froggy. I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just really worried about my dad. I am too. Really? I honestly didn't think you thought that much of my dad. Well, yeah, I've known him my whole life. He's practically my uncle. Yeah. <laughs> We've always been so close. It's a good feeling to have with someone. Especially at times like this. How's your mom dealing with it? She's losing her mind. I can imagine. She's just such a wreck right now. She can't even drive herself anywhere. It was actually your mom who picked us up, dropped me off, and then took my mom to the hospital to see my dad. You're so lucky to have a mom like that. She's really cool. It means a lot that you let me come over. To be honest, I didn't really have much of a choice, so... Oh. Yeah. As we talked... I just felt everything boil over. I was ready to let her have it. <laughs> Can you just be honest with me? Sure. Why have you been acting so weird lately with me being friends with Ryan? Angela, I don't really know what you're talking about. Don't give me that shit! But, Angela, you went around the school telling people that me and Jordan Leto had sex. We shared one kiss. One kiss.
and frankly, I want to know how exactly you knew about that. I know Ryan took a picture, but like... Mm. I know damn well you did not see it from her. Okay, maybe I... Maybe I was snooping around the day he came over to your house. That fucking creepy, Sharon. Fucking creepy. <laughs> Ever since you started hanging out with Rayanne, I've just been so scared. You know? I've been so scared of losing you, Angela. You were never in danger of losing me. If anything, you lost me by your own damn self. I never wanted to stop being friends with you. I just wanted to, you know, meet new people. Have more friends, you know. We're in fucking high school, Sharon. I really thought you would have been one of the only people to walk out of there with me. But right now, right now you're in the getting left behind folder. I'm sorry, Angela. I just got so nervous because Rayanne is so cool and just look at me. I'm not. But I guess it doesn't matter now. <laughs> we have known each other since we were in diapers. Relationships like that should last a lifetime. I know, Angela. I know. It's just that... I don't want you getting hurt, okay? It would break my heart to see you get hurt. I'm not the one being hurt. But what about Rayanne? Being friends with her is just gonna... That's just gonna get you hurt. Okay? I just want to protect you. Because you're like my only friend. That's one of Rayanne's issues, not one of mine. I don't need you to be backseat driving for me. And the only reason you were ever my friend was because our moms were friends. You were like obligated to be my friend or something. Well, all that did was hurt me. More than you could... More than you could imagine. I just wish you could see that... I was truly trying to protect you. That's why I did what I did. I started feeling bad for her because, you know, 
her dad had a heart attack. But I still wanted to be angry at her. It's really conflicting. On one hand, this is someone who hurt you. But then, you see that now, they're the ones who are hurting. It doesn't make up for how they treated you, but this is probably the time you should show them a little grace. I'm so sorry, Angela. I'm so sorry. Could you ever forgive me? Because I really don't want to lose you. What I did was so stupid. And I'm sorry I hurt you. Please, Angela. <laughs> Could you ever forgive me? <laughs> because I really need a friend right now. In time. Just give me some time and... Maybe then, I can truly forgive you. Really? <laughs> can I please give you a hug? Come here. Thank Christ he worked it out. As the night went on, me and Sharon did some of the things we used to do. Microwave s'mores, movie marathon, Hell, we even got Danielle in on it. I just hope Mom doesn't mind the makeover we gave her. I love it! I'm gonna be hearing about this for weeks. <laughs> 